Greetings, I'm Bobby W6IWN, and today I'm here with... Jacob, KC7WXD. We're gonna be doing something a little bit different today. We're gonna to try co-phasing two quarter wave 10 meter whips. Uh, we bought this uh, fancy co-phasing harness off Amazon, and before you guys leave it in the comments, yes, this is for 11 meters. However, I'm gonna to attempt to use it on 10 meters and possibly 12. I know it's not the perfect match, but we're gonna find out what happens because we're out here experimenting today. So I brought several whips today. Uh, what I'm gonna try to do is get two of them, and I believe you want two quarter wave antennas, a half wave distance yep. apart, right? And then the radiation pattern should be in line with the antennas. Yep. Don't quote me, if, but that's what I'm under the impression from what I've been reading up on. Uh, please comment below. So I've got two 17 foot whips that we will tune independently to 10 meters where we're gonna operate. We're gonna use the same coax. Once we get that tuned, we're gonna hook up our co-phasing harness. And then co-phasing harnesses, what is it, a quarter wave they go on each side or a half wave? I think it's a quarter. A quarter. And then, so it goes from 50 ohm to 75 ohm when it splices off to the, the two antennas. Uh, it is supposed to be the appropriate length, but we're out here experimenting. So we're gonna give it a shot. Maybe this 11 meter go phase will work on uh, 10 and 12, good enough for what we're trying here today. It's worth a try. <laughs> so, all right, here's gonna be our setup today. We have two identical whips. They're quarter wave 20 meter whips that we're gonna tune for quarter meter 10. Two of the same spikes and sets of counterpoise wires. So we're gonna set up one, and then what did you say the spacing was on these? It's uh, it's right about 16.4 feet. So we'll set up the first one, get it tuned to 10 meters, and then we're gonna measure 16.4 feet to where we need to lay the spike for the second one. And then we're gonna drop that in, get that tuned, and then we're gonna hook the phasing harness up to both of them and see what happens. And do you know what the, the sum of the two when you phase them, is the gain double or what is the gain? I think it just gives it more, well, you end up with some gain because you end up with some knolls on the broad side of the, uh, your array. So you have the two spikes and your, your signal, the gain mostly, the, the pattern is mostly going to be in line with the spikes. And then there's some knolling effect on the broad side of those two. And so therefore more of your signal is getting out on either end. I don't know what the actual gain is, but it's something. Yeah, all right. Well, we're out here experiment, and we're gonna find out. So let's get this first one stuck in the ground. Right, are you need somewhere in here? Yeah, that's fine. <coughs> Look at you. Oh, thank God, it oh, rained yeah. up here recently. Or this, this dirt's normally really tough. That was a... Uh... That's not bad at all. Uh oh. Okay, we have the first whip here. Jacob is standing away. He's got his antenna analyzer. Yep. And we've tuned that, and boy, is a 10 meter quarter wave whip kind of short. Well, what are you getting on the rig expert here? Hi. Bear with us, we're in the field. I'm trying to get the best shot of this rig expert. I'm not sure if you can read that, but that says 1.25 at 28,700. Okay, our next move is to get the second whip set up. I'm sorry, what did you say the spacing was, Jacob? It's a, it's a half wavelength, five meters, so it's 196.85 inches. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and hold the dumb end of the tape here. He's gonna go set our spacing. All right. And then we'll go and get that antenna tuned and get the counterpoise out and uh, try to get these matched before we hooked them up to the co-phasing cable next. Okay, now that Ricky helped us get the spacing on these whips exactly perfect. Ricky, don't be eating rocks. Jacob is over here once again with the antenna analyzer. I'm adjusting, but then I step away as he scans, so he wants me to go down a little I bit. I would go down a section. So we're gonna tune this one again. And then I'm gonna go ahead and step away so it doesn't affect the tuning way. He checks oh, it over that there. that might have done it. Uh, go down like an inch. All right, another inch. Oh, I didn't get that section all the way to. That might have been part of it. All right. That's perfect. All right, very good. So we use the same piece of coax 
to tune them independently. We don't have the phasing cables hooked up. And then you got a good match again here. It's, on your... cl it's close enough. It's like, oh my God. Yeah, it's really hard you guys to get these uh, shots. One and out. a half at 28.5. All right, keep in mind, we are out here and experimenting. <laughs> so we got those perfectly matched when we put it on our phasing cable. And these, this is supposed to be 75 ohm phasing cable. Uh, it, we're just having a hard time getting it to match on 10. It was a little too high. Uh, we did some adjustment on the whips. We got it where it's workable on 10, 12. Okay, here is our setup. Our harnessing cable didn't work as expected, but we are <laughs> out here experimenting. We got these antennas matched good, but for some reason our harnessing cable, we're not getting it as low as we'd like. We're in the twos there somewhere. We are able to tune it. Uh, we did try adjusting the antennas uh, at the same time when it was on the harnessing cable, but no, maybe we just got a bunk um, CB harnessing cable off Amazon. I'm not sure, but we got it good enough for our experimenting. We're going to try to do some 10 meters because that's why we came up here. The bands aren't super great, but we're going to give a shot because <laughs> that's what we're here for. Whiskey 6 India Whiskey November Portable. Roger, Roger. Thank you, Marcelo, for the DX. I have you 5.9 Nevada, 59 Nevada. <clears throat> uh, Roger, Roger, Bob. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Marcelo. You report on 5 and 6 and 5 and 6 in France, Sultan, Brazil, and the key is to be now, Bob. Back to you, Roger. Roger, this is Kilo Charlie 7, Whiskey X ray Delta, and I got you at a 5.9, 5 by 9, into Nevada. Kilo Charlie 7, Whiskey X-Ray Delta. That's Whiskey X-Ray Delta. You are 5'9", five 5x9. Nine, five nine. Roger, Roger, thank you, under 59. You report on the 5x6 and 5x6 and the key is to be and so to Brazil. Thank you very much for contacting. Kilo Charlie 7, Whiskey X-Ray Delta. DUI free, is that Very cool. Thanks, obrigado, my friend, 73. Woohoo! We did it! <laughs> we got DX 6,500 and something miles to Brazil. So very cool. We actually didn't get it on the 10 meter whips and I'm not going to lie to you, we didn't change the spacing even though we shouldn't use a different harness. We're on 12 meters here, so it's real close. But yeah, we just worked Brazil. Very exciting. We got a pretty good signal report too. as a 5.6 yeah. under Brazil. For, for 6,500 miles. Yeah, That's not bad pretty good 10 meters was a little slow we did a little 15 meters too i know go ahead and comment below this isn't designed for that but we're out here experimenting and we got <laughs> lots of contacts so uh it was fun it's uh definitely something fun to do i'd like to try it again i'm not quite sure about this wilson phasing harness i bought on amazon i have done some phasing it's been decades ago but I had a better match than I'm getting with this one. So I might try a different phasing harness or weren't you, you had a great idea, Jacob, for guys that wanted to do this on the cheap, right? I'm thinking that you can probably, because the, the phasing harness needs to just be a couple, uh, quarter wave lengths of 75 ohm. So we might try it with some, even some like RG6 and just see, because that's a natural 75 ohm and it's super cheap. Yep. So we'll give it a shot because we just do quarter wave of each each side and then run into uh, just a 50 ohm connector. Yeah, and then splice off of that. So quarter wave lengths of 75 ohm coax, and then it's gonna go to 50 ohm. Yep. So very cool. Well, right on, thanks for watching. Maybe uh, we'll get this out again some other time but it has been a success and it's been a lot of fun and it's always fun to try something new and get out there experiment and especially with your buddies it's always uh, fun to get out with jacob so thanks for watching and we hope to catch you on the next one seven three seven three Woo! we just got our first poda soda contact 23 centimeter uh we're starting this double activation today we're up here in nevada on peavine mountain uh soda summit whiskey seven november Dash Whiskey Charlie 011, I believe, in Poda Park, US 4391. So very cool. We just got our uh, first 23 centimeter soda poda contact.
from W6 IWN and KC7 WXD, Reno, Nevada.